in the last lecture we learned how we can create and use a signal now in this lecture let's try to understand how we can update a signal value for that in angular we have three methods using which we can update a signal value the set method update method and mutate method in this lecture we will learn how we can use set method and update method to update the value of a signal and in the next lecture we will talk about mutate method so let's go to vs code and here we are creating a signal now to this signal for the initial value we are passing a numeric value zero but keep in mind that here we can also pass a string value for example hello or a boolean value maybe true or we can also pass an array or we can also pass an object so any type of value we can pass to this signal as an initial value here we want to pass a numeric value 0 because we want to assign this counter signal with an initial value 0 all right another thing which you need to remember is that this signal which we have created it is called as writable signal because here we can update the value of the signal now let's see how we can update the value of a signal so as we learned we have three methods to update the value of a signal we have set method we have update method and we have mutate method so let's first learn how we can use set method to update the value of a signal so what we want is when this increment button is clicked when this plus button is clicked we want to increment the value of this counter signal by one let's see how we can achieve that let's go to signal component class and in there we have this increment method inside that we are using this counter signal but here we are simply specifying the counter signal we are not doing anything with that right so on this counter signal we can call set method as we learned a signal is nothing but an object and that object has this set method now to this set method we need to pass the new value which we want to set for that signal for example here initial value of this counter signal is 0 I want to increment it to 1 okay so here we are passing a new value which we want to set for this counter signal now here it is not going to increment every time we click on the increment button here from 0 it will set its value to 1 so the new counter value will be 1 but again when we click on the plus button the previous counter value is 1 and the new counter value which we are specifying that is also one so after zero it will change to one and it will always set to one whenever this increment function will be called if i go to the web page initial value is zero when i click on this plus button its value has changed to one and now no matter how many times i click on this plus button its value is not going to change because every time this button will be clicked this increment method will be called and there we are simply going to set its value to one now here what we want is we want to increment the value of the counter signal based on its previous value can we do that using set method yes let's see how we can do that so this counter signal here it is going to store the updated signal value right so we are going to access this counter signal here for that we can say this dot counter because it is simply a property here and in order to get the value of the counter signal we need to call it because as we learned it is a function and to that we can add one so now every time this increment method will be called this set method it will first read the previous value of this counter signal and to that previous value it will add one so now if we save the changes if we go to the web page now every time this plus button is clicked it should increment the value of the counter signal so it is working as expected now here what we are doing is we are using this set method to update the value of the counter signal based on its previous value and for that instead of using this set method we should be using update method now we should use this set method whenever we want to set a new value and that new value does not depend on the previous value we can of course use set method to update the value of a signal based on its previous value just now we have seen that but in such scenarios where the new signal value depends on its previous value we should be using update method instead of set method and that's because the update method receives the previous signal value so here instead of using the set method we are going to use update method because we want to update the counter signal value 
based on its previous value. So here we can say this dot counter, which is the signal name. And on that signal, we are going to call update method. And to this update method, we need to pass a callback function. Okay. Now this callback function here, it is going to receive the previous value of this counter signal. So Angular will pass the previous value of this counter signal to this callback function as its argument. Let's simply call it prev value. Okay, so for previous value. And now we have the previous value of the counter signal. All we want to do is we want to add one to it and we want to return that value. And this should also work. So if I save the changes, if we go back to the web page, and when I click on this plus button, you will notice that every time this plus button is clicked, the value is getting incremented. So here, since the new value of this counter signal depends on its previous value, we should be using update method because update method receives the previous value of the signal. So in this lecture, we learned about this set method and update method. In the next lecture, let's understand the use of mutate method and how we can use it to update a signal.